guys what's going on and welcome to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the o3 plus plunge matte liquid lipsticks which have been very recently launched and they have come in 12 beautiful shades and i have picked out only seven of them so do check out the description box below to see the ones that i've picked out if you are interested and before we can get into the lip swatches and the formula and everything do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right into the video. So, uh, coming to the products, features and description. Now, it says that it's a range of liquid matte lipstick that delivers long-lasting coverage in just one application. This liquid lip color imparts a comfortable texture that feels lightweight on the lips. The creamy, color-rich formula glides over lips effortlessly and is non-drying. And each liquid lipstick comes with an elongated dough foot applicator that delivers effortless definition. Now on Nykaa it says that all these products are formulated without any parabens and any animal ingredients and it is obviously cruelty free as well. These liquid lipsticks are priced at 650 rupees for 3 ml of product. So for the packaging, this is how the outer packaging comes in and this actually kind of reminds me of the Huda Beauty one. Uh, not exactly the same, obviously, but kind of the same. So this is what it reminds me of. So the good thing is that it comes with the shade name right outside itself in bold and big. But the sad thing is that I never keep the packaging. I always throw it off. So this is kind of a waste, kind of. So yeah, and this is how the product packaging looks like which comes in this frosted kind of an uh, tube and this is the doe foot applicator. Now this again the frosty kind of the tube reminds me a lot of the Huda Beauty one. I don't own them but I have obviously seen them so it is pretty much identical. So now coming to the most important part, which is the formula. Now these are matte and I mean they are hella matte and they are also pigmented. They are long lasting. They are budge proof and transfer proof. Like for example, like zero transfer whatsoever. So this formula, it does take about 15 to 20 seconds for it to dry down. But once it does dry down, it will not leave your lips. And I am serious about that. Like any of your face wash or anything will not work. Even the Garnier Micellar Water, the pink one, one minute. Like this one did not work at all. So I had to use my good old trusty, which is the Garnier oil infused one. So if you have to remove it, you have to use something that has oil in it, or you can just dab some oil from whatever that you have at home and wait for the product to break down and then you can wash your face and remove it off. Otherwise, these will not leave your lips at all. Now, having said that, coming to the drawbacks, like. When I talked about inconsistency, like some of these shades, they are a little bit streaky. So when I'm doing a lip swatch, I will mention which ones are a little bit streaky. So just check that out. Now, the other thing about this formula is that, like I said before, that these are fast drying. This kind of formula, do not press your lips together like how you would normally apply any liquid lipstick or a lipstick for that matter because if you do that the lipstick will literally like on your lips it will look patchy like some of the product will kind of move and will rub off not so sure how and why but it will look extremely blotchy and patchy so make sure that you apply the lipstick but do not press your lips together just apply one layer and that's that you're good to go for example this shade that i'm wearing right now it's the shade called dusty rose it is so light on the lips it doesn't feel like i'm wearing a liquid lipstick however there's other shade called hollywood where i was freaking struggling that you will see during the lip swatch how much i was struggling for the application of it because it kept moving and just to fix it i had to put another layer which i shouldn't have done because it just made everything worse and it felt so thick on my lips like for example if you ever use a clay mask and the way how it dries down imagine that dry down feeling on your lips and when you try to lick your lips how it would feel 
that's how it felt now if i'm being super duper nitpicky about this liquid lipstick the one other thing that i did not personally like was the applicator now this applicator is a very hard tight kind of a doper sponge applicator which i personally do not prefer and i do not know if it's because of the applicator or was it because of the formula but this lipstick you will have to go over like double dip it not just one dip and apply it all over your lips no you have to go over twice that's what i did for almost i think all of them i did double dip so the sponge is not something that i kind of like because it's a bit hard it is too tight and it just feels like a q-tip you know the earbuds it feels like that and last but not the least, I feel that the pricing of 650 rupees is a little bit high for 3 ml of product. The reason is because, just an example, the Nykaa Matte to Last Liquid Lipsticks, which is a little bit more less priced than this one, that has 5 ml of product. Even the Sugar Smudge Me Not, which is like 4.99 if I'm not wrong, even that one is about 4.5 ml of product. I feel for a liquid lipstick, 3 ml is pretty less for that price point of 650 rupees. So yeah, these were my thoughts and opinions about the O3 Plus Plunge Matte Liquid Lipsticks and let's finally get into the lip swatches.
guys, this wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I upload. As well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I'll try my best to do that for you. As well as follow me on my socials, which is It's Nishanayar on Instagram and It's Nishanayar on Twitter as well. Until the next time, take care. Bye.